Sharon. Hi, it's a pleasure to see you back in Jamaica. I know. <laughs> home Lovely away from see, home. Lovely to see you again. <laughs> and I see you're holding up another book. Another book. The first one we did at the Grandiosa. That's right. <laughs> in and Montague Bay. Yes. I'm and here, here we are at Witter Village. It's a beautiful Gregorian shopping village. It is not a plaza because it has 92 stores and it's over 250,000 square feet. Wow. So I it's didn't a know delightful that. place. I remember coming here when it was first opened, you know. Okay. And it's, yes, yes. It's a 2010 place. was when it opened. It's That's celebrated right. yesterday, the 11th. Oh, really? It's 10 year anniversary. Oh. Yes. No, I love and that's this when we place. saw each other. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I just love this place. It's, it's just nice and it's very scenic and you've got the fountain over the there. The fountain, yes. And it's a great place for meeting people because this is where we met up. That's right. And this is where we're doing the interview the Excellent. day after. Yes, it's so good. So I want you to start off by telling me about this book. What inspired you or who inspired you to write this book and what it's about? This book is an inspiration of divine spirit. Uh -huh. And what I call divine spirit is that indwelling force within. And I would wake up during my meditations, mornings at five, six, early mornings, sometimes before, mm -hmm. and I'd get impulses to write. And I had done writing workshops where I knew that pen and pencil, pen and paper had to be beside the bed. So yeah. I'd wake up with those thoughts or run to, to find the paper, if I didn't, and write them down. So they were coming as quotes, quotes quotations, short, long, mm -hmm. different sizes. And I was publishing them on Facebook, uh -huh. uh, WhatsApp. And then when the WhatsApp get, got filled and my phone couldn't start, I said, we've got to do something different. So we started continuing to write longer prose, paragraphs and statements and putting them together in a blog. Now it's Sharon-Chambers.com, the blog. Right. Uh, then it was volumes of notebooks filling up with information and also South Florida Caribbean News was so kind to me. They said, okay, we will take your quotes and we'll use them as often as we can. So I was getting some publicity with these quotes and then finally in um, we're in 2020 mm -hmm. 2018 I started writing I think it took a whole year it took a year yeah I'm thinking yeah because I had the information but still some was still coming yeah these, mm -hmm. these insights gosh and so we're looking at this book now do you think you could um, choose something out of there to yes. read to us yes I want to tell you it's 165 pages we have some praise in the back yeah. from Muta Baruka and uh, uh -huh. Dr. Garvey, yes. And um, we also have a couple of, kind of Abija, because <laughs> he's been my abiding friend for many years. That was Julius Garvey, I was okay. trying to remember the first name. Uh, then we have affirmations in the back, I must say, several of them, mm -hmm. where you could just choose an affirmation to start your day or you could just randomly close your eye yeah. during your morning meditation. Yeah. Open. This is values to live by. Okay. So we're at values to live by and we have Mahat. We have several sections in the book. We have values to live by, spiritual development, mm -hmm. divine consciousness, sacred feminine. And then we have spiritual development. Wow. So you have quite a few uh, areas. So you would start where you feel your spirit directs you. Okay, in so you 21 don't... days or 30 days of practice. Uh -huh. Okay, so you, you choose... don't have to go to the beginning of the book. You can start anywhere in the book. No. So here you have one that says, "Choose to stop suffering now by shifting your memory and imagination to a more positive space." Oh. And it will give you a commentary, mm -hmm. a sacred practice, and an affirmation. So here's uh, the first two paragraphs. Today marks the first day of the rest of your life. Live your life. Exert your positive intentions or let life live you and exert its unknown intentions on you. Stop suffering by removing lack and limitation from your mind and imagination. You are what you think. Vision yourself the way you want to be. Shift, focus and connect to a new consciousness and visual and vision of yourself. Make conscious decision to stop suffering now so it continues mm -hmm. and then it gives you sacred practice it says 
stand in front of a mirror, speak to your mirror image. Mirror image and mirror work is not new, no, no. but it's very powerful because you cannot run away from the you that you're looking at if you are ready for transformation. Yeah. This is about self-help transformation. Yeah. It, it, it's improving your spiritual self or finding or connecting to it, right? The as divinity you're within. As you're mentioning that to me, the song that came straight to my head was Man in the Mirror by Michael Jackson. Yes, yes, and that's what mirror work is great. And so cross your hands over your heart and gaze into your eyes and say, I love me. I honor me. Excellent. I will never allow anyone to hurt me or abuse me. I will never give up on me. I love my life and enjoy being alive. Then, as if a coach was speaking, you're going to put it in the third person. I love you and I honor you. This is the sound that we listen to most. I will never allow anyone to hurt you or abuse you. I will never give up on you. Love the life you live and enjoy yourself. Oh. Right. So who are we speaking to? That little girl inside or that little boy inside the man that may not have grown up with you or may be still hurt. Yeah. Right. So we want to remember um, that spirituality is about communicating with self, loving self, yeah. forgiving self honoring self yeah. and feeling the energy of being your best being a brilliant and a gorgeous part of humanity this earth that's what it's about to reach self mastery and self mastery is to know your capacity yeah. what is your capacity as a human being to love but also it's a lot of positive thoughts isn't it yes you know. how do you remain positive all the time when life is pushing in on exactly, you. Exactly, with all right? the challenges. Right, so you have yeah. to retreat. Yeah. And by retreating, you have to listen to that still small voice inside. That voice may be saying something negative like, I don't love you. You're not, uh, the world doesn't love you. Who do you think you are? You know, so whatever those voices are, you still those by canceling and literally saying cancel, cancel, cancel. I cancel all negative thoughts yeah. and images about me. That's not me. I am spirit. I'm untouchable. I'm great. Greatness resides in me, every cell in my body. And so when you start doing that kind of self-talk and mirror work and the affirmations, did I say what it was? I choose to live life to the fullest. It's a, it's a choice, exactly. right? So I choose to live life to the fullest. And you believe it. When you believe your affirmations, of course. then you can make them happen. Yeah. It's not just casual, casually speaking affirmations that work. It doesn't work that no, way. No, 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 no. You've got to say it and yes. mean it. And we have yeah. maybe 60, 60 affirmations here. If you want to choose one, uh, in, in self-control it says, I speak, think, and act with humility and self-control. And that's so simple. Yes, it's so simple. That's so simple. Yes, yeah. because it's teaching something new. This is about self-development. And if somebody wanted to buy that book, yes, where could they purchase it from? Uh, on Amazon.com. Right. Yes, just look for the author's name, Sharon Paris Chambers, yeah. or the title, Living Life right. as a Sacred Practice. The long name is Discover Yourself as a Source of Creation. So the short name is Living Life as a sacred practice. And, and how much is it priced at? It's about 25 US dollars. Okay. On Amazon, maybe 20. 20, I think it's 20. Yes. I just want to ask you, where did you get the title from? Uh, that was an inspiration through the meditation. Through the meditation? Yes. Lovely. <laughs> okay, Sharon, thank you very much. Yes. For sharing your little experience with us. Oh, you know, it is indeed again, a pleasure. It's just lovely to meet up with you and your positivity, your positive energy. It's wonderful. Exactly. Who are, who are we without having this capacity to reach within and go back to our original self? Exactly. Original self is untouchable. It's undeniable. And it certainly cannot fit into a box. It's borderless. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. This is Sharon Oshun on Five Eyes TV. This is Paulette on Five Eyes TV. Today I'm at Witter Village, Ironshore, Montego Bay, sunny Jamaica.